Be sure to stay here with us, TV5, throughout the day as we continue to coverage, cover the president's trip to mid-Michigan. But this morning, we are also getting the Republican side of things, too, on the president's visit. So we're joined live right now by State Representative Bill G. Schutte. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Representative, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, and I really uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak with you and your audience today. Yeah, of course. Thank you. So we heard from, you know, both our Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist and as well as the president saying that their policies are improving the lives of Michiganders. So your point of view, what are you hearing from voters in your district? Is Bi Bidenomics working? Oh, absolutely not. And I think that's the whole reason that Joe Biden is coming to mid-Michigan today is because he realizes that he has a Michigan problem. We're, we're 239 days away from the election, Blake, and we are, and Joe Biden is, is underwater in Michigan because of a crisis at our southern border. You look at sky high inflation on everything from the price of gas to the price of groceries. It's policies, Blake, that you know work a lot better for coastal elites than they work for hardworking people here in mid Michigan. And Representative Schutte, this is Sierra speaking to you right now. Uh, you are up for re-election this year, and you hold Ask Bill G sessions to hear from voters. What other issues are voters bringing up to you? What are the people's concerns? Well, thank you, Sierra. Yeah, and I, I hold those uh, those sessions monthly, and it's it's really helpful for me to, to hear from uh, people about uh, the issues that are most on the top of their mind, what's keeping them up at night. And I tell you what, it's... Um, we, we talk about the price of gas, the price of groceries um, is uh, it's taking a bigger percentage of people's paychecks now than ever before. I was uh, listening to someone uh, at one of my recent Ask Bill G sessions. Uh, she was talking about having to take items off of the conveyor belt and put them back um, onto the cart because with prices, people can't even afford um, their normal groceries in Joe Biden's America. And that's, you know, that's sad. But you also hear about this horrible fentanyl crisis that is really hammering mid-Michigan hard. You look at, um, you know, uh, throughout our state, uh, the opioid epidemic is uh, being fueled by the crisis at our southern border. And so I do want to bring up, you know, one of your campaign issues, reinforcing strong communities. Would you say that's possible with the Biden or Trump presidency? I think it's definitely uh, possible with the Trump presidency. And unfortunately, uh, the lack of leadership in the White House um, has harmed a lot of our uh, communities here in, in Michigan, and it's trickled down um, to, to our state level. Uh, you look at a, a Whitmer administration that has decided to give billions of your taxpayer dollars to a company with uh, direct ties to the Chinese Communist Party. That type of um, policy is, is damaging uh, to our communities. And you look at, um, you know, the way that uh, people's paychecks and savings have just been eroded in this high inflation uh, Joe Bidenomics. Uh, that's uh, that's not working for the people in Michigan. Uh, in under President Trump, we saw people's paychecks and savings growing. And Rep. Shudi, just really quick, what do you think another Biden presidency will mean for the people of Mid Michigan? Well, that's a that's a scary thought, Sierra. So um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that the uh, American people make a decision uh, to go for bigger paychecks and uh, stronger communities in, uh, in, in November. But just look at the, at, the, at the track record that we've seen in the last four years. We, we see a southern border that is completely overrun. We have um, people uh, paying more than they ever have for groceries while their dollar is going less and less far. I don't think American people can afford that. I don't think the people in mid-Michigan can afford that. Maybe if um, you're living in an ivory tower on the east or west coast, it works out for you, but not here in mid-Michigan. All right, Representative Schutte, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for uh, giving us some insight on, you know, the Republican Party side of things. Hey, thank you, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you both this morning. Of course. Thank you.